I'm all hyped up on albuterol now, so let's rock and roll. So, okay. Supposedly, Bill Gates or the New World Order or the Illuminati or somebody wants to use the COVID vaccine to install a microchip under your skin to track your every move remotely. I've heard this a lot from people, you know, or seen it posted, you know. So let's break this nuttiness down step by step. RFID microchips for pets require a much larger needle to insert under the skin than a vaccine needle. They're about the size of a grain of rice. RFID chips require a reader that is held next to the skin. A GPS tracker takes batteries. It is larger than the size of your thumb. You would need surgery to install a GPS tracker in someone's body, rather like a pacemaker. Only, unlike a pacemaker, it would need frequent battery changes because it would need more juice. Yeah, so basically putting a GPS tracker in your body isn't really technically feasible at this time. But here's why they aren't interested in doing it. They don't need to. 1.1 1. 1. Your cell phone can pinpoint your location within six feet at any given time. In fact, if you're a protest organizer, it is highly suggested you use a burner phone bought with cash. And that brings us to any purchase made with plastic is a trackable purchase. Another interesting point, at least 80% of us live in urban areas where there are cameras all over the place. Thanks to private companies contracting with law enforcement, facial recognition technology is tracking us. Not all as successfully, uh, not all of the time, but to a great degree, if we're on camera in a public location, we are being tracked. I will include a link to electron Electronic Frontier Foundation in the comments. I urge you to check it out. Honorable mention, if you're driving, your car license plate is highly likely to be tracked in urban areas via red light cameras. Police cars also have red light camera tracker, red light style camera trackers on the cars themselves. Uh, the collected data goes into a company database, a contract with law enforcement agencies, and the data stays there for five years. Again, I will link to another page on Electronic Frontier Foundation. So think about this. All this tracking is going on. Why do they need to implant a GPS tracker in your body? They already have ways of big brothering you. They know where you are. They can figure it out. They don't need to stick anything in your body to find you. 
So the idea that somebody's going to insert a tiny a thing that's tiny enough to fit into a vaccine needle that is capable of tracking you through GPS that is not technologically possible all right it's just not anyway wash your hands mask up in public and take care of yourself